Hello, welcome to theartclasses.com. Um, today we are going to do, do a digital painting demo of a uh, Darth Maul. Um, he's probably one of my uh, favorite characters, probably second to Han Solo. And um, I did a tutorial on Han Solo uh, on my blog a couple of days ago, or you know, um, you can go check it out on my blog. Let's go to my blog, and then you can download like free brush and. Um, anything like that and if you want a, a more in-depth tutorial you can just support us by getting a premium tutorial anyways uh, let's get started this one took me about an hour uh, 10 minutes so I'm gonna fast forward it's uh, really fast um, so I want to keep it under 10 minutes for this uh, video alright let's get started so I just start off with a blank canvas it's this kind of look white but it's not it's uh, probably about 20% uh, gray or 15% and then I just pick a Photoshop default brush uh, chalk brush uh, it's default in CS5 and in the beginning I'm just you know roughing it out just basic shape of whatever he might look like it looks pretty funny right now because it's just a you know a rough sketch of the pose and um, his head and everything. Uh, in in this one, I got a reference. Uh, it's like a screenshot. So it's a screenshot is pretty good practice for um, lighting and um, all the value that you need to practice. So you know, and you know, light drawing is always uh, my cup of tea. I always go there to paint. And you can bring laptop or um, a real painting there, but oil is pretty hard. So now I'm just filling in uh, the value, just kind of basic. Keep it simple in the beginning. Um, sort of uh, as you can see right now I only have basically two value and the line and then I just you know after I got um, two medium and two a little darker gray then I'll just add in some black or some really super dark gray it's basically black and and at the beginning point I only use maybe 30 percent opacity and then after I get everything like at this point uh, I got the shape that I kind of wanted. The drawing, um, I try to get as much accurate as I can, but uh, the initial drawing is not, you know, you, you kind of like uh, get the idea of what the pose is going to be, and once you get it there, you kind of fill in the, um, the silhouette with the medium gray, a light gray, and now I'm adding um, the dark value because its code is basically. A really dark purple and now I'm just adding some um, a wrinkle on the cloth and some basic lighting it's kind of keeps it keep it uh, very simple and it's still pretty scribbly and now I'm adding some um, color you can use either overlay layer or color layer or multiply um, I wouldn't recommend the screen for adding color uh, it depends on you know how you want to set up your color just try it out and if the color looks right then it's good or um, usually if you uh, see me if I don't have like a solid reference or if I don't have a reference at all I usually work in monochromatic and trying to figure out the value um, to the maybe 50 to 70 percent point to the finish um, but if I have a reference I can just go in and like I already know like hey what value is this going to be and what color is this going to be it's a lot more uh, challenging to paint in color rather than monochromatic but um, you just sometimes you're just doing a concept art I, I usually personally or a lot of people in uh, concept art they usually go into the monochromatic route and um, add in color later but um, um, adding color later is, is a lot to deal with if you don't have a reference especially that's going to be pretty pretty tough um, so it's a lot easier to just deal with value and trying to get it as accurate as you can but when you practice for a reference um, it's it will help a lot you know if you uh, what I usually paint is I focus on light and shadow and this will uh, really help you in um, in the way that you might not notice it right away but um, you see light and shadow a lot better and you know the relationship between um, how to arrange the light and how to arrange the shadow and how to you know get the uh, color harmony um, all together like you know warm light cool shadow cool shadow warm light so now as you can see um, I'm going in and 
trying to paint his face in the accurate way because he has like a really com complex pattern on his face and what I'm doing right now is I'm still like if you notice I, I'm still keeping it simple like um, toward this value like the lights coming hidden from this side and this is just pure shadow and um, I'm just keeping this onto the the same value and as on the other side of face I still kind of keep it on the its own range of value and the shadow is in its own range of value and if you don't understand value is you can go to my website and click on art tips category and you will f find out a bunch of um, useful tips and uh, about digital painting or painting in general so and then on his clothes I'm trying to keep it also within the same range of value and most of the time a lot of people ask me I don't zoom in a lot because uh, there's not a lot of reason to and it can also mess up your flow and uh, zoom in usually when I start digital painting back in I don't know seven eight years ago um, when I zoom in usually I'll get caught up in detail and it's a lot better if you kind of um, say get the overall value like uh, speed painting is good practice just get the overall ra value right and then if your um, speed painting like in this one I spent about an hour some you know hour 10 minutes it's it's still consider a speed painting because it's, uh, it's still in one sitting one session you, you just do it in one go um, and if you want to use speed painting you do it and it looks okay that's legit and that's look like it could be something then you can um, pick one from there and just refine it and make it a, a good illustration so um, and another in, uh, a lot, another important thing I want to talk about is um, the drawing. If you get a correct um, drawing, your painting will be a lot better. And then, um, more importantly, is value. That's the second thing. Um, you have to get your value correct to make your uh, illustration or painting or whatever you're working on look look good or look correct, and it looks convincing. Um, if you don't get your value right then it doesn't matter how much detail you put on it that's not gonna look good and right now um, I'm using uh, my own custom brush and the good thing about brush is that it will help you with um, arrangement of the edge so in uh, in the illustration or concept art or speed painting um, it will be I think I uh, on this part I kind of messed it up so I'm just gonna skip it so I decided to not uh, get the the arms in but then he kind of looked uh, weird without the arms and then eventually I add the arm back in again so I have like two separate layers so it's a good thing about Photoshop that you can save um, the layer that works and the layer that doesn't and then you know if you decided to bring that layer back on later on you can just you know I just erase uh, this one may be on top and the other one with the arm maybe in, uh, is in the bottom layer so I just later on I just erase this part so I'll just show up the arm even though at this one and work on his face so his face is a lot more rendered than the, the previous the previous image so like I said you know I bring the arm back up by just erasing the the uh, image on top that I work on the face and the image on the bottom has an arm so I you know fix that and then bring the arms back and I thought it's, it looks a lot better with the, the arms in it and now uh, I'm just uh, adding some background and some highlight onto the head I know this tutorial goes like really fast or demo and then and uh, I'm talking about brushes um, brush will help you define edges and edges is pretty much the key to how to make your work look uh, very professional or proficient like um, they'll look at your brush stroke like around here there's a not a lot that's going on but then you can tell your eyes will just fill in the information if you look at his um, code that I just paint um, it will look like you know there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, wrinkle and fold and if sometimes you get the, the hard edge like here and there and then um, they're kind of like the softer edge around the inside because uh, 
that part didn't get the light hit and then you get the hard edge again when the hand the arm is like coming out and you see the lighter part here and it just create the illusion of you know edge is edges can create uh, the illusion of like the um, really things coming forward or things coming backwards so illusion of depth oh uh, now I'm just uh, painting the highlight on the horns and on the head and a little bit on the nose so like when you keep it simple and as you can see his face still maintain um, two basic value that I have in the beginning that I'm talking about but and within the, the shadow you can't um, adding the light that are lighter than the other side which is in the light and on the light you can also add you know like say if you have say in the shadow you have like 60% and lower and in the light you have um, uh, above say 60 to 0 is in the light and then 60 to 100 is to the dark and then you sh you on your light scale you should not have anything that included 60 and below like 70 value they should not be in there except in his pattern because that's not the value that just uh, that's not the uh, the value range of the light that's just the um, the design itself which is you know if you have uh, say a striped shirt that have black and white then you know within the light the light of the dark will be lighter than the, the dark of the dark um, if you know what I'm talking about but trying to maintain um, the light in the dark and keep the value range of the shadow in the shadow and the value range of the light in the light and like I said earlier if you zoom in sometimes you got lost because um, you look at say if you just zoom in in the area of the light and you're like hey this you know look kinda too light you add some maybe some darker value in there and that's what when that's most of the time in the for the beginner they, they'll get caught up with um, too much detail and they think they should add uh, light and dark or too dark of a value and you know it's a you can use just a very simple little value and basic everything start from like a basic a really good basic foundation and you can make your image look uh, pretty okay like on the lightsaber right now I don't do a lot of it I just add you know at the lighting highlight in the middle just like when you study uh, a cylinder you don't need much you just need uh, a light in the middle and the light in the bottom and it's kind of create that illusion of a roundness it's, it's a funny thing artists uh, it's like you can think of it as mathematic and everything work in the logical way you can't you know art is not actually art unless you do abstract or non-objective which that's not my cup of tea but if you're doing a realistic art that's trying to mimic life or trying to make a good concept art and now I'm using a bunch of dodge tool uh, dodge can be pretty useful but you know I don't use them a lot unless I wanna add something uh, I wanna make something popped out that should be your last resort too um, if you wanna practice like painting then you should be able to you know pick your own value and color and just go from there um, overlay multiply or other layer tools can be pretty useful and and make your work faster it's, it's not gonna make your painting any better than what you already know um, you have to know the principle and you have to experience it like you have to know like hey this you know this value is gonna be uh, in this area and this value is going to be in this area and you have to know the placement of it and that's why you practice from from you know reference and from life and uh, once you kind of know that it's going to register in your head and it, it become a lot more natural and still also brushes uh, is not going to help you much it will help you you know make your work uh, more convenient and faster so this is the end of it you know dot mall right there um, I spent about an hour and ten minutes it's probably one of my um, better ones it's not too slow I was going to like um, sort of make a 30 minute and just like doing it just for the demo but then I realized hey maybe if I add like half an hour more it might look a lot better than you know it should be but um like what I'm saying um all the effect in Photoshop you know and it can give you like a, a really a good clue a good guide to find a value or find the 
solution to a, a certain problem that you have in your painting but um, ultimately you you have to um, actually know what what's in there and what you actually um, want in the final result and what you want in the what you get in the final result is what you know from painting so anyways um, yeah please go visit theartclass.com and I hope you enjoy this tutorial I often you know sometimes talk about different things in different video I try to you know provide you guys as much knowledge of you know whatever I know um, I don't know much but it's what it is and yeah you can support their website and keep the free video coming by um, getting a premium tutorial people seem to like it and I'm glad they do and you know it show you a lot of like layers and how to make your workflow faster and all kind of things and there's also some traditional um, drawing also alright I hope you enjoyed the tutorial have a good day bye bye